run, 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 run. Oh, he can't catch up to a guy with speed. <laughs> no, no. Hey guys, we're back for another video, and today I'm going to talk about some stuff. This is a commentary video. Oh god, I swallowed water down the wrong pipe. <coughs> I'll be alright. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys another story about something crazy that happened. <clears throat> yeah. God, I just got to get my freaking throat back after swallowing water down my windpipe. Oh, least pleasant experience ever. But anyway, yeah. So what happened was, this was years ago, alright? So this is something that's infamous in Warwick, which is where I live, and a lot of the surrounding areas because it was a big storm and it was really, really scary and all that jazz. Um, also, Gray just so happens to not be in the game, which is really useful if you like winning bed wars because he was my neighbor and I don't have to deal with the neighbor anymore. That, that's cool. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so what happened was... During this um, storm, you can see by the title, it was an ice storm. I mean, first off, this was years ago. Like, I must have been... I must have probably been in, like, middle school. Maybe high school. No, definitely middle school. This is back when I had, like, a babysitter, which, you know, obviously that's not a thing anymore. You know, this blue guy is trying really hard to get to green, but he just keeps falling in the void. Bye. Anyway. Um, so yeah, years ago this happened. I was at the Cascade Lake Roadhouse. If you guys don't know, I have lived in... So many houses in my day. Also, the green guy just disconnected from the game. So, I'm just not going to bother with that because I need to get these games done fast. But anyway, I was living in the Cascade Lake House, which is out in the middle of the woods. This is the story. This is where the story about my dogs and the bears happened. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, it was pretty funny. Um, I was talking about all the different houses I lived in. But yeah, there were quite a few houses. And that one was just... Uh, <laughs> it was not the best house. It was very tiny. It was very, you know, damp and gross because it was in the middle of the woods. And, um, not a fan. Also, there was a giant wolf spider about the size of my entire hand just chilling in my room once. That was not ideal. Oh, he's gonna fight me. Oh, good. Oh, and now you run. In the void. Who is left? Uh, oh, green. Oh, green left the game. I probably shouldn't have suicided there because then I might have been able to get that last bed and not waste time. But whoops. I'm sorry. I'm inexperienced at doing world records. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so back in the Castle Lake house, there was this one stormy night. <laughs> very stormy, very cold. And it was almost like a rainstorm. And when it hit, it was sleet, all right? So it was straight up like ice falling from the sky. Not quite hail, but very tiny. But there was a lot of it falling from the, uh, the sky. And I was inside, so I didn't really notice for a little while. But then I, all of a sudden I heard a boom, like a loud crack. And like, it sounded like lightning. And I'm like, what? And I'm looking around and I just see sleet falling. And I'm like, is it supposed to... The thunder and lightning during a sleet storm? What? Is that a thing? Um, I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> that actually worked! <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. I don't know how I just... <laughs> I just rocket jump straight into his face. Yeah, that was good. But anyway. Huge crap. Boom, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I look outside, I don't see anything. It's pitch dark because it's like, you know, 8 p.m. or whatever. It was dark because it was winter. And then five minutes go by. I hear another boom. This one didn't sound like lightning. It sounded like almost like an explosion. I'm like, what? 
the hell is happening? I still don't know. And then I hear a third boom and I'm like, wait. And then I turn on the porch light and I look outside. Trees were falling from just, they were falling over. Completely losing their integrity and falling. And that's what the boom was, was the tree hitting the ground. And as soon as I make that realization, I got really scared because this flimsy log cabin in the middle of the woods would probably not fare too well if an entire freaking oak tree that's like probably a hundred years old fell on it. And I, I was getting pretty scared. Um, oh, I don't have to go that way. That's right. But it was, it was pretty scary. So then the booming got more frequent. It was one about every minute and a half or so. Kind of like that. <laughs> but it was so loud. It shook the entire house. And <laughs> it was ridiculous. So I was just huddled in the living room all by myself because my mom was in the other room at the time. And I'm just like, don't kill me, tree. <laughs> and then my mom comes outside and I'm just like, where do I go? Where's safe? And then my mom was like, your bedroom is probably the safest. Because it's like the most structurally sound or whatever. Oh my god. Oh, this aqua dude is so dead. The only worry I have is blue right now. Because they're in, uh... Really? No escape. No escape. No escape. What the? Ooh! Why were you punching me with a block? That's not gonna work, dude. Um... Kind of tempted to get their bed, but at the same time, they're so far away. Uh, they're they're going to break my bed, and I'm going to be really... I'm going to feel real freaking stupid. <laughs> we both did the same thing. Okay, that's fine. Where's Blue? Alright. I don't see them. Anyway, uh, the storm passes, nothing falls in the house, thank god, and then I fall asleep, I wake up, and the next morning I walk outside, and it looked like a freaking winter wonderland, alright? <laughs> Except instead of like a winter wonderland, it's more like an ice cave wonderland. It's freaking crazy. So, you know how usually in ice caves and stuff, like, ice hangs off of things? Well, no. In this instance, there was ice on top of things and that sounds really stupid when it's phrased like that but it was on top of everything like including the thinnest of the thinnest tree branches like more thin than like a pencil and there's just ice built up on it somehow oh god no no i don't have a water bucket you don't have tnt right no, you don't. No, you don't. Get out of here. Oh, he was one hit away from dead, too. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm staying here. Screw that. Dead. Stop. This guy's obviously more experienced than most Bed Wars players. He managed to get my bed because I was one hit away, as always. Great. Well, anyway, <laughs> the storm passed. I go outside, and everything, including the dog run, I figured out that's the name of the thing. It's a dog run, was completely coated in ice. If you don't know what a dog run is, it's basically like a string with uh, some wheels on it, and it attaches to a dog leash. So you hook your leash to it, the dog leash, and then the dogs are able to explore the immediate vicinity because the, you know, the lead thing is, you know, keeping them on one line. It's weird, but it's a thing we had. And that was weighed down several feet because the, um, the ice was piling up on the most thin things, including that line of, like, wire. Which was really bizarre. So it also turned out that a tree had fallen on my mom's car. So. Oh! Oh. No, no. 
What a clutch block that just was. What the frick? <laughs> Okay, so this gray guy is going to chase me until the end of time, so I got to do something about it. Um, hmm. He hasn't caught up to me yet, so you know what? I might be able to go to his bed. Oh, that'd be funny. It's just like... Okay, he's right there. Mm, this might be a risky play. Does he even have a... He doesn't have a path to his bed. Oh. Nah. Nope! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He's, like, right behind me, I bet. He won't fall in the void! <gasps> yes! Oh! I got him! Get out of here! Dude. What a clutch play that was all right we're getting this and then we're getting these oh my god Whew. why are they switched dude that was such a clutch play i don't even have sharpness i need to fix that so this gray guy is gonna be a big problem obviously did you just try to fireball me Bye. Leave me alone. Now I'm going to run towards... Wait. He's like right behind me too. Uh. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Oh, he can't catch up to a guy with speed. <laughs> no, no. Stop lying, stop lying, stop lying. No, 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 die, 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 die. <sighs> oh my god, he managed to get that hit somehow. Dude, you need to stop. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Oh, that was a scary play. I thought somebody else was in the game, but I guess not. All right, let's not play steampunk, please. No, stop. Yeah, one of the trees fell in my mom's car. It actually broke the mirror, which is kind of funny. Um, not funny, but also funny because the insurance company paid for it, so whatever. But... <laughs> Galaxy Dino is just like, Brandon, I love you. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at Solo Daily. <laughs> that might be why they're saying that. I'm not streaming or recording. I am recording. Oh, whoops. I said that the wrong chat. Whoops. This person named Contact Me. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Uh, what else happened? Yeah, basically just everything got covered in ice and it was weighed down. That's why the trees broke, by the way. You would think that the ice would like bounce off. <laughs> I'm trying to take a break. <laughs> I can't. Um, gotta keep going for 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> it's okay. I've prepared for this. That's the first time I freaking messed up my bed defense today, I think. That's fine. You're gonna target. Okay, dude. Well, it's not targeting. This is just the way to play this map. And he fell in the void. There we go. Nicey, nice, 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 nice. Uh, Ow. Ankles. Got him. It's actually faster if I uh, void. Disconnecting and reconnecting actually is a viable strategy for, um, you know, getting back to the base super fast, but I'm not a fan of it. I just, I haven't gotten used to doing that yet, so I'm kind of scared to, because, you know, it risks the wind or whatever. No, it doesn't really risk the wind at all, but it just, I don't know. It feels weird. Oh, I don't, don't want to do it. Not yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. You didn't see that. That that was embarrassing. My hand is actually starting to get kind of sore. 
which is to be expected for playing Bed Wars. For this long, it's mostly my thumb. Which is going over the um, the space bar right now. I never had to really think about what I'm doing every time I do it in Bed Wars, but... Stop. What was that? Knockback what? Stop. The knockback is so weird with that guy. And my dogs are barking, which suggests that... I don't know. Somebody's either entering or leaving the house, but that sounds like a desperate bark, which would suggest that they're leaving. No, I just wasted so much gold. All right, commentary needs to pause right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you are dead, Blue. <laughs> oh, that's good. And the dogs are being very loud. I'm going to have to shut them up. Oh, damn. Okay. And... In the void. There he goes. Okay. Now there's Gray and Aqua. I don't know where Aqua is. There you are. You're way over there. You're like way over there. I really hope you don't want to get my bed. It doesn't look like you do. Green just fell in the void by himself. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Okay, green. Uh, bye. I didn't want to get that. Whoops, bought the wrong trap. Whatever. Yep. What? Thank you. He took less knockback than he was supposed to, and then fell in the void because he tried to overcompensate, which makes sense, because that... Was not enough knockback for that hit. Now, of course, Aqua's going straight for my bed right now. Well. I don't even see them, actually. Where is Aqua at the moment? Aqua? I don't see them. Well, that's a little discerning. I don't know where they are. Um, hmm. I don't know where they are. And that's really messing with my brain. There you are. Yeah, have Obsidian. Hmm. You're gonna be fun. All he needs now is a bow, and he's gonna be just as bad as the, the, the worst person. He's gonna be the worst person in the stream so far. Stream. I keep saying stream. You know, this is how, this is what happens when I record for so long that my brain tells me I'm streaming. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Alright, after this game, I'm definitely gonna have some caffeinated, uh, not beverages. I, I don't like, um, coffee. Tea could be nice, but I don't, I, I can't spend the time to make it if I want to make this, uh, you know, one day Bedwars win challenge work. Okay, Aqua. So you're mid right now. If you have a bow, you would probably use it right now to hit me in the void. Which would make me very sad. Might need sharp. It's a little too late now. Ow. Hi. That didn't work! Oh, I just got scammed by fireballs. What the hell? Oh. Stupid slabs. No, he's getting away. Look at him just glitching around. Bye. I can't see. I can't. can't. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> That's the other thing I hate. What is that block doing there? No. I'm trying so hard right now and I'm just failing horribly. If I fail this, I might lose my bed. I am not letting that happen. What is your freaking connection? Thank you. I figured out something, if they're lagging, and you can like hit them pretty frequently, like more than normal. 
for whatever reason. I just bought gaps instead of a diamond pick. I am an idiot. Why did I do that? Oh my god. I keep freaking launching him in the void and it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going in here now. I am going in this generator. Stealing all the stuff. Throwing it away. Killing you! Thank you. You know, it's not the problem of you can't kill him. It's the problem of you can't kill him because his connection is so bad that he hits you every time. Even though he's like four, five, six, seven blocks away. All right, all I gotta do is kill him once and this is over. Please. No, okay. I picked up the obsidian, which means he can't put it back. That's extremely important. That means if I go back, he's gonna have to defend that block with something else, unless he has more emeralds, in which case, what the hell. Dude, this sucks. I, I can't believe that this is happening right now. This guy just needs to die. Of course he was a millisecond away from losing his bed, because why not? Let me up, gang. Let me up. No, 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 no. I know for a fact that he doesn't have obsidian there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Die. Goodbye to your bed. Oh, that took forever. You have a wood sword, so you should not do a lot of damage. Just die. Just die. Thank you. Bye. Leave me alone. Nope. Not accepting the call. I cannot accept the call because I am busy. Anyway, leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, that was... That was the ice storm story, and I got delayed horribly by some dude with obsidian. Oh, I hate obsidian in this game. Anyway, hit the video in the top right hand corner if you want to see more. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put there. Uh, how about the funny battleship story? That was funny.